we're going to look at the great vessels of the heart first. We're looking at the anterior surface of the heart and we're going to encounter first the pulmonary trunk which is going to branch into a right and left pulmonary artery. Posterior to that we're going to find the aorta which first ascends, arches, and then descends. Then, going a little bit more posteriorly, we're going to encounter the superior vena cava. I'm going to turn the heart around, and now we can locate the inferior vena cava. In addition, we're going to find the four pulmonary veins. I'm going to come around to the anterior surface again. And next we're going to locate sulcuses. The coronary sulcus is the depression that separates the two atria from the ventricles. You're going to find blood vessels in it. It's going to come all the way around the heart. Then we're going to find a sulcus that divides the ventricles, uh, a sulcus on both the anterior and posterior surface. So I'm anterior again, and this groove is the anterior interventricular sulcus. Again, we're going to locate blood vessels in there. I'm going to turn the heart around, and this is the posterior interventricular surface. Again, there are blood vessels located within it. Next, let's locate the chambers of the heart. The two upper chambers are the atria. They're located above the coronary sulcus. The atria each have a little flap as an extension, these flaps are called auricles. So once you locate the auricles, you've located uh, the beginning of the atria. This is the left side. All of this is left atrium. And then this would be the right side and the right atrium. Then below the coronary sulcus, we're going to locate the left ventricle and the right ventricle. 